I've been following the Fisker Ocean since it was a concept car a few years ago. Now that it has become reality, I put in a reservation on February 18th of this year. Reservations have been open since November 2019 when the concept came out. My reservation is roughly at 30,000, of which there are currently over 50,000 reservations. It only costs $250 and is 90% refundable. This puts you in place for ordering an Ocean when they come out. It's an electric SUV and is very similar in size to the Tesla Model Y. It has some interesting design and features that caught my attention. It has class leading range of 250 to 350 miles depending on the trim. We don't have specifics on the battery pack sizes yet. Other notable things are 3D radar, 3D surround view, two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive options, and an impressive basic warranty of 6 years 60,000 miles, and a battery warranty of 10 years 100,000 miles. There are four versions of the Ocean, the Sport starting at $37,499, the Ultra at $49,999 and the Extreme at $68,999. And finally, the Ocean One is the limited edition of 5,000 units that will be the first production starting in November of this year. On July 1st, Fisker started contacting the first 5,000 reservation holders asking them if they want to get the one or not. If they chose not to, they still maintain their place in line for the other versions as soon as they are available for purchase. The Extreme is supposed to start production in 2023 and probably will account for most of next year's volume. Then in the fourth quarter of 2023, the Ultra and Sport will hopefully come out. Of course, all this depends on the timing of production and all the things that are involved with a new vehicle. This shows the seven initial paint colors, with another seven available in 2023. 14 paint colors is actually pretty incredible. There are three interior colors. Sea Salt, a white gray with bright metallic accent. Malibu, a blue and black with a bright metallic accent. And Black Abyss, which obviously is black with a dark metallic accent. Here is a list of features for the vehicle. Too many to go over in this video, but here are four pages of features that I compiled from the Fisker press releases and documents. This is specifically for the Ocean One and the Extreme. And now for the main point of this video. On 8 a.m. on Friday, July 8th, Fisker sent me an email asking me to choose to accept the invitation to secure the Fisker Ocean One. I have seven days from receipt of the email to accept or go back into queue for the other trim levels that will be available next year. At 9 p.m. on Saturday, July 9th, I pulled the trigger and pre-ordered the car. This next section will go over that process. First, I logged into the website and selected the Account tab. This shows all of my personal details, which I made sure were correct. The second item on the left menu list is Reservations, which shows a blue one next to it. I click that, and on the Reservation page, I have the date that I made it, February 18th, 2022. Next, my referral code that can be used if anyone wants to order an Ocean. I click on the pre-order button in blue. The text now prompts me to either answer no or yes. I click on yes and then the pre-order now on the next page. Step one, enter the delivery address and confirm that the Ocean is available in my region. This is also to let you know if all 5,000 Ocean 1s have been claimed yet. On the next page, I enter my address and click Continue. Step 2. Now I can build my Fisker Ocean 1. The configurator comes up, 
By the way, this is just the preliminary configurator. A more advanced version will be arriving in October, where I can finalize my choices. The choices I make now will allow Fisker to figure out rough production plans. Color is the first item. There are seven colors initially for this year. If my pre-order gets built in 2023, I may be able to choose from seven additional colors. At least that's my guesstimate. But at least for now, I will choose from the seven. We have a white, a black, a gray, then Mariana, which is a blue, Big Sur Blue, which is a blue matte paint, which is not easy to keep clean, so I'm skipping that one. Silver Lining, a silver with a blue tint. And finally, Blue Planet, which is a bright blue. I ended up choosing Marietta, since I think it's a unique color, and I haven't had a blue car in quite a while. Next are the wheel choices. The base 20 inch are standard for the lower trim levels. It is an era wheel with a cover on it similar to the Model 3 18 inch standard wheels. The 22 inch F3 slipstream has a three spoke design with recycled carbon fiber inserted into the spokes. There are silver and black versions. The 22-inch F5 Air Glider has seven spokes and comes in silver and black versions. I chose the F5 Air Glider in black. It just looks better to me. And lastly, the interior color. All three of these for the one have the upgraded Eco Suede inserts and the rest of the seat is polyurethane, aka vegan leather. Sea salt was my first pick, but my wife convinced me that it will probably be hard to keep clean. Malibu is a limited color for the Extreme N1. Black Abyss is good, but I prefer to get something a little different. Malibu it is for the interior choice. Pressing continue brings up the accessories page. I can probably add or subtract these items just before the final order date, so it's not that critical right now. The car comes with one key fob and uses the phone app as a key. So one key fob is plenty for me. The winter tire, roadside safety kit, and car cover don't interest me at this point. I picked the floor mat set as the only accessory for now. After hitting continue, I get to the summary page. I clicked on the disclaimer button here in blue. It mentions that pricing excludes delivery, finance, and government charges. One thing about delivery of the car is that it will be from distribution centers located in different parts of the country. You can pick up the car yourself and the destination charge should be minimal, not specified yet, however. If you are within 50 miles of the center, they will ship the car to you for $800. If you are over 50 miles away, the cost will be $2,300. Back to the summary page, I click on continue. And the design is saved. Step 3 is making the deposit. Here is a whole lot of legal terms that you should read through. After clicking on I agree, it asks how to make the deposit, either credit, debit card, or ACH bank transfer. I chose credit card and I filled out all the information that was needed, and then I hit the pay button. After a few seconds of processing the payment, I get the congratulations page. There's an FAQ page that I can read through after if needed. Here is the confirmation email I received with all the information from the pre-order. So this is exciting and I'm looking forward to the Ocean One when it arrives anywhere from 6 to 10 months from now. Yes, there are still a lot of questions to be answered. Which company will provide service? Where will the distribution areas be located? There's always some uncertainty over timing and delays that may be possible. 
Not having test driven or even seen the vehicle in person is a bit hard. I managed to do it fine with my Tesla Model 3, which also had its share of questions. Then there is the history of Henrik Fisker's first company, Fisker Automotive, which went bankrupt and eventually became Karma Automotive. The troubled battery company A123 was also a contributor to the failure of the first Fisker company. The new company, Fisker Inc., is now based on an asset light model where Magna Steyr is the manufacturing partner and also investor that has decades of experience building vehicles, including the Jaguar I-Pace. By the way, the Ocean will be built in Austria. Fisker will be using technology from Foxconn and battery cells from CATL, the world's largest battery manufacturer, a leader in nickel magnesium cobalt, aka NMC, and lithium iron phosphate, aka LFP batteries. Well, that wraps up my announcement for today. I'll keep you informed as the delivery date gets closer. Please leave any questions or comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.